Welcome to this Lucky 44 tutorial on how to spawn units through triggers and scripts. Uh, this comes at a request from some people in the uh, TAW.NET ARMA division, uh, which I am a proud member of. And uh, it should be, there are a bunch of different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you uh, well, we'll see how many I put into this video and how many I continue into the next one. Um, first of all, your first step is going to be to place a marker on the map. So over on the right, I select markers, and then I've spawned, uh, I've placed this marker on the map, which I am calling spawn point one. You can give it any name you want, just so you remember that name. I'm going to leave all the other settings the same because I don't need to see this um, marker on the map. I'm not going to give it a color or anything like that or an icon because I actually don't want to see it. I want it to be in a visible place where uh, I'm going to spawn some enemies in this case. I've created a player unit who's just a doctor and a civilian and I'm going to uh, use him for the demonstration here. And I've put a truck down here which I'll get to later and I've created a trigger. Now, here's where everything happens. I'm going to set this trigger up to be nice and small. The area is going to be important because I'm going to set it up so that when a civilian, in this case, normally if your players are playing on the blue four side, you'd set this to blue four. But for my demonstration, I'm using a civilian, so I'm going to set it so that when a civilian is present in this trigger area, which is 3 meters by 3 meters and a rectangle, just for my demonstration purposes. It'll only happen once. Uh, I'm going to leave the time settings at zero so that it'll happen immediately. I'm going to set it, leave it at timeout. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm not going to change the condition because the condition will refer to when a civilian is present in the area. But here's where all the action happens. Down here, I'm putting in two lines separated by a semicolon. The first is my group name that I'm creating, and I'm defining it, equals, and then the syntax create group east. So the syntax for this is the name of the group that you're going to create, and you could give it any name. You could call it op41 or red group one or uh, ambush group one or whatever equals and then you will always say create group and then you say the side that it's going to be on which could be east west resistance or civilian and then a semicolon which tells the uh, program that it's going to consider everything after this to be a new command a new line in coding terms so here's the next line and it's going to be just this the group name which i've defined over here equals and then angle bracket get marker position get marker pause in this case I'm going to use a get marker position and then the name of that marker I created spawn point one in quotation marks comma the side that these units are going to be I'm going to be calling from that is when the program looks into the vast database of units it's going to be picking units from the east side. And then the number is how many units I want to be in that group. So for this example, I'm going to use 10. And then the close angle bracket. So I've told it where I want them to spawn, which is at the marker named spawn point one. I've told them what side I want them to come from, what type of units they'll be. And I've told them how many units. And then I say, call, you always use that word, and you always use this, bis underscore fnc underscore spawn group, and that's the end. That calls the function, that's what fnc is, the bis function spawn group. And what that's going to do is it's going to randomly pick from the east units, the east infantry units, 10 units. And it's got probabilities in there, so it you know doesn't pick all uh, AA guys, and it's less likely to pick an AA uh, infantrymen than it is to pick a uh, rifleman, things like that. Um, the one thing that's kind of tricky is that if I don't tell it anything else, 
because ARMA 2 OA is based on ARMA 2, the default east units are Russian. So you'll be able to see that in a second. So that's it. It's going to I'm going to create a group that I'm giving this name. I'm just calling it group name. And then and I'm saying it's going to be an east group that is an op4 group. And then I'm saying take that group name that I just created and give it use the function spawn group to spawn the units there. Here we go. So I save my mission and I jump in game. Really fast. Really super fast. And I pick my unit, say OK. OK, so here I am. Let's get the third person view of my doctor. And you remember that I set the trigger area between the truck and the building. So now I'm just going to run through the area and the marker is out ahead of me. Boom, I entered it and there's my randomly chosen group of 10 op 4 infantry who have spawned right on the marker. Here's my squad leader. You can see he's Russian unit and randomly chosen unit groups. We have a grenadier, an automatic rifleman, another rifleman, a grenadier, another grenadier, and a rifleman. Okay, there's my 10 guys. Voila, that's that. Um, but, seems simple enough, right? Well, that's good. It got me my marker, it got me my group spawned on my marker, but all they're going to do is stand there, which mm, maybe that's not quite what I want to do. Um, so I've also, the, also, the other downside to using a trigger where I put all of the code in here is that I'm limited I in a couple other ways. And I think I'm going to break this down into separate uh, videos and uh, create a couple more that will address other ways of spawning groups and then how to put them into vehicles and then how to send them moving on to waypoints. So that's it for this one.